Welcome to the launch of the Aviation 2020 community. My name is Gehan and I'm the Managing Director of Ascend. Aviation 2020 is our manifesto for the aviation industry. It outlines the key opportunities and risks facing you, our audience, our customers over the next decade and beyond. Aviation 2020 consists of five key drivers, the details of which are available elsewhere on this website. In summary, they consist of number one, the Balancing Act, which is the impact of the emissions regulation on our industry. Number two is the balance sheet, which shows you how to profitably negotiate the aviation cycle. Number three is the uncertain science of dealing with exogenous shocks like terrorism and the credit crunch. Number four are the changing fortunes impacting our industry caused by new markets opening up in Asia as well as new business models. Number five is size matters, a reference to the new generation of aircraft that will be appearing in our skies very shortly. Gahan, 2012 is when aviation joins the European Emissions Trading Scheme. What should airlines flying in and out of the EU be doing now in preparation? This is an area of some discussion. What is very clear, however, is that every airline needs to appoint an independent verifier to substantiate their emissions by April 2009. Airlines which fail to do so will be laying themselves open to fines and these fines could ultimately impact anybody who actually owns the aircraft. So our advice is that everybody in the industry who has exposure to flights in and out of Europe should be looking at appointing an independent verifier as soon as possible. Given the unprecedented market conditions we're currently facing, with huge rises in the price of fuel and fewer passengers flying as people start to tighten their belts, what are the ramifications for aircraft being laid down? Our analysts have been working on this and we forecast that up to 800 aircraft will be laid down between now and the end of 2009. These are commercial aircraft including jets and turboprops. We know we're going to have a difficult winter ahead of us. Uh, airlines like Ryanair have already announced they expect to fly a million fewer passengers in that period. We expect all airlines to be flying through some turbulent skies in the months ahead. Which aircraft types are most vulnerable in current market conditions? In our analysis, the MD-80 is the most inefficient and the number in storage has been rising daily. Uh, early 737 Classics have also been losing value. We expect to see 737 Classics built in 1997-98 to be also suffering from what we call the last of the line effect. Many investors expect fuel prices to remain at historic highs and we see continued downward pressure on older less efficient aircraft types, uh, your portfolio strategy will have to reflect this continued diminution of values of older, less efficient aircraft. Amidst the gloom and doom of capacity cuts and laying down of aircraft, what's the bright side for the industry? Well, here at Ascend, we're bullish about low-cost carriers. We believe their lean, lean cost structure means that they're going to come out of the turbulence even better than their compatriots. Uh, we're also tracking a hundred startups across the world and we believe that startup activity is not going to diminish uh, even in light of what's going on in the world's economic marketplaces. The other place that we're very bullish about is South Asia. Our office in Hong Kong continues to support startup activity across Southeast Asia and more recently we've seen a blip in North Asia where we're beginning to see new startup activity evidenced by six new startups in South Korea alone. Thank you for watching. This is the first of a series of webcasts, discussions and other things on our community boards that will be updated on a daily, weekly and monthly basis. So do come back and revisit the site on a regular basis. We will have commentary here from our senior analysts as well as from key people in the aviation industry. My team and I will be traveling across the world and we hope to see many of you in the weeks and months ahead. If you would like a more personal perspective on Aviation 2020 and its implications for your business, do give us a call. The contact details are available on this website. Thank you once again.